Hi, my name is uh, Greg Quiggle, and I'm here at uh, Satellite 2019 with uh, Kratos. Um, and we're focused on our strategy to really migrate um, the traditional ground station into the cloud. So you might wonder why we want to do that. Um, and the reality of the situation is the networks all around the ground station are changing dramatically. You have the terrestrial networks that have moved to software-defined networking um, over the last decade. And what that means is the majority of the infrastructure now lives in the cloud. Um, which makes them a much cheaper cost per bed and allows the networks to be much more dynamic and application-based. On the other side of the ground station, we have a lot of innovation in space. We have small sats, we have LEOs, we have MEOs, we have CubeSats, flexible payloads. All of those are things are really driving the satellites to be much more flexible. So if we have a lot of flexibility and dynamic networking on either side of the ground station, the ground station itself has to change in order to make good on those investments. Um, and that's really what Kratos is focused on. So how do we do it? There's really three steps to virtualizing the ground station. The first thing you have to do is digitize the spectrum as close to the antenna as possible. Ultimately, uh, we, we want to take the RF signals that are going up to the satellite and the RF signals that are coming down to the satellite, and we want to convert them to an RF over IP standard. And at Kratos, we use Vita 49. Once that is digitized, that allows us then to take a lot of the classic functions um, that live in a hardware in a teleport. You know, uh, you have uh, uh, frequency converters, splitters, combiners, VSAT systems. All of these elements can be converted to what's called a virtual network function and live in the cloud. Um, what that allows you to do then is take most of the infrastructure that's historically been in a gateway um, and move it into the cloud to dramatically reduce the cost per bit and to in turn make the ground station every bit as flexible um, as what you see with a software defined network and what you see now with the emerging satellites. So as the third element of our strategy, once we digitize everything in the teleport, and then we move all of that infrastructure into virtual network functions, it's critical to have a management platform that brings all of those domains together into a common data model, a common user experience, and a common set of APIs. So as a third element of our strategy, we're taking the a la carte systems um, that Kratos has historically had to manage the network um, and bringing them together into a brand new product that we call Kratos Management Platform. We're actually releasing that at the show. Um, at the end of the day, if you look at the major customers for Kratos, we sell a lot of infrastructure to the governments, um, the satellite operators and the network operators. And all of them are suffering from a couple key elements. The first is the cost of the satellites are coming down, the cost of the terrestrial networks are coming down, but the cost of ground systems have stayed fairly consistent over the last decade. So a key reason why we're driving a strategy like this is it drives down the cost per bit of the ground system. It also really opens the door to alternate business models where you can fund your network through OpEx versus CapEx. The second key reason is it makes the satellite ground station much more dynamic. If you envision a software-defined network that reconfigures on the fly, connecting to a, a satellite that reconfigures itself on the fly, you really need to have a flexible link between the two in order to make the entire network run effectively as an end-to-end -end service. So um, as, as, we, as we talk to our customers in the gov space within the satellite operators and the network operators, these are two of the really critical reasons why they feel like this is not only a necessary part of the future, but it's really a must for the satellite industry to continue to grow.